Hey everyone, so sorry that you can't really see my face. Um, my iPad doesn't have a case right now. And today I'm going to share with you um, my fairy garden that I just got today. So let me just... So we're starting with, so we have a house, a fairy's welcome sign, a pond, two fairies, a turtle and a snail, some tiny coloring pencils, some cookies, a fork, a spoon, and Coca-Cola, some books that have titles and can open up, and some garden, gar gardening tools, and this big um, grass thingy. This I just got from home. Sorry, I'm covering you up, but we are going to, right now, see, oh, sorry, um, how I'm going to decorate my fairy garden. So, first, we need to take the duct tape and start duct taping the sides down. Sorry about the background noises, it's just a TV. And we about need that much, depending on your length of fake grass. Okay, maybe we need a little bit longer, but I am just going to use this for now. And I'll add some more later. It does take off the grass just a little bit, like that, if you guys can see it, but it's, it's fine. Turns out this piece of tape isn't going to work, so... Let's put that inside of the trash and try again. So, surprisingly, we need a pretty long piece of tape. And I am about to run out of tape. And I just ran out of tape. Why does it show more tape than you need? Then I'm just going to duct tape the sides down. This is just straight up annoying but what I really need to be duct taped down is this side and I'm going to duct tape it by rolling up the tape rolling up the tape and sorry about that little thingy is just my toy kitchen And I'm just going to duct tape the side. Down. Because this part already tucks in side of my wall. So yeah, that's going to be good enough for now until I find some more duct tape. But now I'm going to put my acorn house down into the corner like that. And I think I'm going to put this um, pond area, maybe like about right here. And the Freddy's welcome sign, maybe just like right here next to the house. I'm 
I'm going to put this small t I'm going to put the small turtle right inside of the pond. And I'm going to try to take these out, the colored pencils. And yes, these are working colored pencils. They actually work. And I'm going to put that these um I I'm not sure where I'm going to put these actually. But um I'm going to put these all together in my hand. Open up the bag. And put these inside of the bag. Because it's just straight up easy. I got this idea from my friend because she had tiny stuff. And I thought they were super cute. But I decided to go a teensy bit further and decided to do a fairy garden. Because I thought fairy gardens are so super cute. And I just love them. They're, ever since I got this one, I just really liked it. I'm going to put this small, tiny piece of duct tape on this so it doesn't, like, open up and then it spills. But I'm going to use the same exact method as I did with the grass by um, rolling up the tape and taping it down. And just saying thank you for everyone who's been so positive on my channel. Um, thank you for your support. And I know I, I have no idea if that's like anyone. But thank you for your support. And it's really helpful. It gets me through stuff. So then I have this small little gardening kit with um peas daisies zinna corn tomatoes and stock with a low rose and some gardening food with some gardening tools so that's really cute i'm gonna put this little fairy right next to it because it likes to garden and it has a flower i'm gonna put this little fairy um, in the corner, the reading corner actually is what I call it, and I'm going to put this book that says Kings and Queens, Old Fairy Tales, and let me see this one, Once Upon a Time, why am I doing this, and I'm just going to, actually I'm going to place the little fairy over here that way she's kind of standing we're really going to replace these you can see where i'm placing them though which is i think that's good and i'm going to put the small fairy right there i'm going to put the gardening tools right in front of the fairy's welcome i'm going to put this right here the other fairy And I'm gonna put the three books on like a bookshelf. And for the bookshelf, I'm actually going to use the snail to hold up all the books. And the coloring pencils will just go next to her because she likes to color. The cookies, Coca-Cola, and utensils will go right in front of the house. And then I'm going to, well, I am actually going to get some more stuff so just wait right there
so I do have a couple of things that I would like to add like some rocks and hmm a small animal so these are the things I'm getting I am using the geodes from my last video, the pyrite from my last video, a random rock I just found, and a cute little animal. Just gonna put the animal right there. I'm gonna put the geode. Right here. I shouldn't really include the geode but I am going to include this beautiful rock just to add some embellishments but this geode is very pretty and I like it now I am going to get um I am going to grab Oh, I don't really know what to grab, but um feel like I feel like something is missing. love hot chocolate and I'll show you the special thing about the hot chocolate next so the special thing about the hot chocolate is that it actually comes with small hot chocolate packets and I think that's just straight up really cute so how about I just add this just right over here under the fairy's welcome and I'm going to grab my skizzers and I'm, to, I'm going to cut these in half and create a small garden I'm not sure if it'll work. Or I'll just create something else with it. That won't work. <laughs> so I'm just going to just make stuff perfect. Not like perfect, perfect, but you know what I mean. So these are my sewing scissors. And yeah, this is my small fairy garden. I might change it up a little bit later, but this is my fairy garden for now. So thanks for watching and I hope you like it. So bye.